in Pakistan's foreign office in Islamabad, Pakistani Foreign Minister Saa Mahmood Qureshi, along with the Human Rights Minister in the Imran Khan government, Sirin Majari, and its National Security Advisor, Mohid Yusuf. All of three accompanied with the Foreign Office spokesperson of the Pakistan Foreign Office, Asim Iftikhar, they all came together, mainly the three people, the Foreign Minister, the NSA and the Human Rights Minister. They all three were sitting together and they were, they were all like, it's a press conference and we are alleging, in fact not alleging, the term they use that we are exposing India's ISIS linkages. That's what they tried to convey to the whole of the world and as per their requests or what they have tried to sell to the world, they presented a dossiers and few proofs to their media that these are the proofs, these are the locations where India hosts terrorist camps within India to train terrorists and send them to destabilize Pakistan and now even Afghanistan. This is something hypothetical. In fact, this is totally something like you have taken a lot of drugs and after then you are going on to write a story and you wrote something uh, totally, totally out of the context. Nothing real, everything imaginative. So they did exactly the same thing. Now, what are the mistakes that they primarily made? The first thing is the locations that they pointed out that these are the pinpoint locations. All those locations were, most of them were empty spaces, children's park, lakes, roads, shopping malls. Certain things were there which they pointed out that these are the spots, these are the pinpoint locations where India runs terrorist camps to train terrorists and not normal terrorists terrorists linked with ISIS and send them to Afghanistan to fight Taliban, to destabilize Taliban so that the Afghanistan could remain in a civil war like situation and then further on towards Pakistan to destabilize Pakistan and fuel militancy and separatism in Pakistan. That's what they alleged though the separatism and militancy all these because of Pakistan's own deeds. Pakistan have created militancy, jihad, terrorism all on its own. The thing is they created it so that they can hurt India but now the same thing is repelling over them and now they are facing the biting the dust. That's why they are worried because if they won't paint it a uh, India sponsored picture or a picture sponsored by some external forces, how will they curtail it? Because the public support is rising and they need to the public resentment in their strongholds. In the Punjab, the mainly state that holds around 55% of the total Pakistani population, the Pakistani army on the mainstream Pakistani politicians they are losing the support in that area and that is crucial because of the current financial mm -hmm. crisis and other things people aren't able to trust them and they know that they require at least the 50% on their side to crush the rest 50% because of their own they know that a similar situation like 1971 awaits Pakistan's future but the thing is what they did was it was a completely joke and it it was truly hallucination nothing else complete hallucination and they created a picture a script and the biggest thing was they put on the picture that the isi confirmed all those locations that's quite surprising because if an isi is really concerning all those matters i the the government of pakistan is running on this is like publicly um, accepting that yes, we are not a government run by the elected representatives, but by the selected representatives who are selected by the Pakistani army or the ISI. But the thing is, ISI have verified it 
and they picked up their spaces if we go through the exact locations that they provided the longitudinal and latitudinal points then it was um, Gulmarg the scenic beauty or you might have heard a lot about it it's the tourist place where a lot of tourists visit almost every year and specifically it's a place where media always uh, provides attention to it so if that was involved how could it be because that certain tourists visiting there in large numbers hadn't noticed any such activity or not even Gulmarg several other even cities uh, where they pointed out what they pointed out was schools what they pointed out was roads clear roads what they pointed out was empty fields so are they really serious even in alleging that India is involved in any such activity because if they were even 10% they would have at least verified that whole of the things that yes whether these are true or not but they are the so-called nonsense I will say because they were all were hallucinated overdoses of drugs so they did what the world can expect from them thank you guys